Can I ask you a question? What the hell you got to ask me? Mr. Stawicki, the one you got the questions for. How come you ain't never liked me? Like you? Who the hell said I got to like you? What law is there say I got to like you? Wanna stand up in front of my face and ask a damn fool ass question like that? Talking about liking somebody. Come here, boy, when I talk to you. Shalom. This is Brother Ahawad of GMS Toronto, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Merkakwadash, double honors unto the elders and elder apostles of GMS that do rule well and that do teach well, and to the brothers on the four corners of the earth doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, today's lesson. Um, it's going to be based off of uh, a clip called uh, Offenses. And it's, um, I ain't got to like you. Uh, scene. Um, I'm not going to really uh, expound anymore. I'm going to make the, uh, the scene speak for itself. Um, I was just meditating on this uh, yesterday. And I decided to do a video on it today. Um because this um this scene just really speaks to you right this whole movie speaks to you on a deeper level on a spiritual level but this was um a really really uh powerful scene straighten up god damn it i asked you a question what law is there say i got to like you none all right then don't you eat every day Answer me when I talk to you. Don't you eat every day? Yeah. Nigga, as long as you in my house, you put a sir on the end of it when you talk to me. Yes, sir. You eat every day. Yes, sir. Got a roof over your head. Yes, sir. Got clothes on your back. Yes, sir. Why you think that is? Because of you. <laughs> Hell, I know it's because of me. But why do you think that is? Because you like me? Like you. I go out of here every morning. I bust my butt putting up with them crackers every day because I like you. You're about the biggest fool I ever saw. It's my job. It's my responsibility. A man is supposed to take care of his family. You live in my house, fill your belly with my food, put your behind on my bed because you're my son. Because I like you, because it's my duty to take care of you. I owe a responsibility to you. Now let's get this straight right here now before I go along any further. I ain't got to like you. Mr. Rand don't give me my money. Come pay day because he like me. He give it to me because he owe me. Now, I don't give you everything I got to give you. I give you your life. Me and your mama worked that out. Between us and liking your black ass wasn't part of the bargain. Now, don't you go through life worrying about whether somebody like you or not. You best be making sure they're doing right by you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Then get the hell out of my face and get on down to that A&P. That's right, man. That's right. And that's the same thing in this truth. <laughs> Don't be worrying about if I like you, you know? Just worry about if I'm doing right by you. So don't worry about, oh, I wonder if Brother Howard likes me. I wonder if, um, you know, if Brother Jeremiah likes me. I wonder if uh, Elder Tahar likes me. Yo, don't worry about that, man. Worry about doing your job. That's all you got to worry about. Worry about if brothers are doing right by you. When a brother's doing you wrong, then you got a problem. But don't worry about if this person likes you, if that person likes you. Yo, we're not in the truth for that. Really, really and truly, we are a body. And we need every part of that body to be functioning at tip-top shape. That's why the scripture says, if the eye offend thee, pluck it out. Because if the eye is not doing what the eye is supposed to be doing, which is to guide us, right? That we we, we avoid um, obstructions, avoid danger, then guess what? That eye is a faulty eye, right? The same thing with a brother. If a brother is in the truth, you like that guy. That guy's the nicest guy on planet Earth, right? That guy makes you uh, that guy makes you laugh. That guy makes you feel good. But he ain't doing his job. Well, guess what? That don't matter. That don't matter. But if you have a guy that he's a little bit more rude, he's a little bit more mean, right? You don't really like that guy, but guess what? That guy does his job. He does his duty. He's a leg, 
right? And his, his legs is always getting you to where you need to be. You understand? That means he's needed because he's doing what the hell he's supposed to be doing. He's better than that faulty eye that ain't doing what that eye's supposed to be doing, man. That's what's wrong with, 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 with this generation. What's wrong with this generation is everybody's too caught up in feelings, man. They're too caught up in how they, how they feel. It ain't about you feel. It's about what people are doing if people are doing their jobs, right? This goes into all levels. This goes into the level of even your woman, right? You, you you have a lot of men worrying about, oh, I, I need my woman to be sexy. I need my woman to be this. Nah, you need your woman to do what a woman is supposed to be doing. Worry about if your woman is supposed to be doing what she's supposed to be doing, right? If you can find a woman that is a woman that's supposed to do what she's supposed to do and she's gorgeous, right? And she's drop dead gorgeous, then then that's a, she's a winner, but if you got a woman that she ain't that good looking, but she does what she's supposed to be doing, you still got a good woman. You understand? Let me get a scripture. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 19, verse 29. It says, a man may be known by his look and one that hath understanding by his countenance. When thou meetest him, a man's attire and excessive laughter and gait show what he is. Let's get that word gait. This is the word gait from the online etymology dictionary to noun. 1300, uh, gait, a going or walking, departure, journey, earlier way, uh, uh, earlier way road path from a scandinavian source compare old norse gata way road path from proto-germanic got one a going source also of high german gaza street um german gasse ga ga a way road gothic got gatwo perhaps from pi gi Gihi, to release, let go, meaning manner of walking, carriage of body while walking. Um, walking from mid-15th century, modern spelling developed before 1750, originally in Scottish, related to gated, right? So what is your gait? The way you walk, the way you move, Right? That's your gate, right? So you can judge a man by that, by how he moves, right? If a man is always, he's always laughing, he's always joking, which, which is not a bad thing as long as he's doing his job, right? But you may, you may also know a man if he's not a serious man that way as well. Or you may know a serious man by his gait, by the way he moves, right just like you you're able to tell that a person is a homosexual by what by the way he moves he carries himself what in a feminine way right so you may be able to tell a, a, a person by the way they move this is second corinthians chapter 13 verse 5 it says examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith prove your own selves Know ye not your own selves, right? That's a, you know, like, do you not know your own self? You have to know your own self. You can't be out here um, um, uh, judging Israel. You can't be out here educating Israel and you don't even know your own self, right? One of the first things you have to do before you get into this truth is actually know yourself, man, right? Like the scripture says, the scripture says, um, um, uh, let me get the scripture. Uh, it's eluding me right now. And this is Romans 14, verse 5. It says, One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. This is the point now. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. 
right? So that's what you have to be in this truth, right? So how could you not know yourself? Because before you, before you, before you come out here and say you're a teacher or that you're educated in Israel, guess what? You have to be fully persuaded in your mind of what? Of what you know of yourself, Back in uh, 2 Corinthians 13, it says, examine yourselves, right? Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates, right? So what does that mean? That means you have to be moving like an elect, right? You have to be an elect-like. None of us know if we're a part of the elect, but you have to move that way. You have to move like if you are an elect. A lot of you guys are moving like you're the two-thirds. You're moving like a two-third. You're not moving like an elect. You have to move like a two-third. You have to conduct yourself like, a, like an elect. I'm sorry. But you're moving like you're a two-third. You don't want to conduct yourself like you're an elect. You're an elect member of of the, 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 the league of Yahawashai, right? That you're a part of that body of who? Of Yahawashai. Who's Yahawashai? He's the head, man. Yahawabashim Yahawashai. You're not conducting yourself in that manner to where Yahawashai would be, would be uh, uh, honored to say that you're his brother. You're conducting yourself like 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 a um like a two third man and yes nobody knows none of us know if we are the, the the elect or if we're part of that one third but we can conduct ourselves in that way man worrying about if this person likes you if that person likes you worrying about making good impressions right worrying about being liked you brothers are worrying about the wrong thing Worry about doing your job for who? For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Worry about if your job is being done, your office. We all have offices, right? This is Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 8, verse 1. Who is as the wise man? And who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine. And the boldness of his face shall be changed, right? So, even when, even when, um, even when you start to enlighten yourself, other people are going to see that change, man. And when you're not enlightening yourself, when you're not moving in the proper way, guess what? People are going to see that as well. People are going to see that you're off. Right? Because you're not conducting yourself as a man that is fit for a certain office. Right? Whether your role is, is elder, whether your role is, is, is second in command, third in command, whatever your role is, people are going to be able to see that you're not fit for that role. Right? Because wisdom maketh a man's faith to shine. And what does that mean? That means people are actually going to see that. People are actually going to see it and see that, whoa. Right? There's something about him. He carries himself in a certain way, in a certain manner. Right? So stop worrying about if people like you, people don't like you. Don't worry about that. Worry about doing your job, man. Worry about your responsibilities. That's what you brothers need to be worried about. Worry about your responsibilities and not your responsibility to another brother. Your responsibility to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right? Because we have a job, man. We have a job to do on this planet Earth. And our job to do on this planet Earth is, is not to become rappers. It's not to become athletes. That's not our job on this planet Earth. Because if that was our job, we would be doing that. Right when you see the when you see Kobe Bryant, you see LeBron James, why were they put here in this time? They were put here to be that. They're going to be that. Right? We were not put here to do that because if we were, we would be doing that. We were put here to be prophet prophets and to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So what does that mean? That means we have to be the LeBron James of serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We have to be the Michael Jordan of serving Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
right? We have to be the Michael Jackson of serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And when I use these people's names, I don't mean it in a negative way. I mean being the best at it. We have to be the Usain Bolt of serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We have to be the Mike Tyson of serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Do you understand that? Do you get that? Right? And with that, I'm going to end it off there, man, because I, I feel like the point was made. Right? And with that, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor unto my power and to my Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. Double honors unto the elders and elder apostles of GMS that do rule well, that do teach well, and to the brothers on the four corners of the earth doing this work in truth and in sincerity. Stay strong. And represent for Yahweh Shimia Shai. Until next time, Shalom, Kwame Asharallah.